Okay, welcome to the Chapter 5 Homework Answers. I'm going to just use this video to go over what your graphs should look like um, when you graph your dry density and your moisture content together. And so you have that those uh, coordinate pairs. Um, I'm going to send you an attachment with all of these calculations rather than going through all of them because we're just iterating that same process over and over again. But we have those five different samples, and so I want to show you what those graphs are going to look like for those. Um, so let's start off with um, the sample BS3. Um, when you put all your data in here, um, and I took the moisture content out to two decimal places. If you didn't, you might be a little different from me here um, on your totals, but it shouldn't be off by more than like a tenth. So we should be around the same. And as you see, when you put your points onto the graph, and I used the scale um, from 9 to 17 and 107 to 112 for the dry density, you might have used, you know, slid this all down a little bit or slid it over. That's fine. It's up to you. And like I said, I will be giving you these scales on um, any test and final exam too, but just for the homework. And then we plot the points, so we have the 10.9 and 108.7, 12.61 and 111, uh, 14.42 and 111.7, and 16.41 and 109.6. So those are my four points there. You, some people like to put those little triangles around them. Um, you can do that, not required. Um, and when I fit my curve to it, um, you know, I fit, fit to my three points. Um, I see I got this high point. It kind of extended for a ways here, but um, to I call that about 14.1. But if you're, you know, somewhere maybe a little bit below that or a little bit above that, that's okay. Um, you want to be in that range, though, of the 14%. And then your maximum dry density, um, we just take that straight across. 11.8 for that, um, but you need to be, you need your density to be up in that range um, to make that kind of curve there. Okay, so that's the first one. Um, for our second one, which is BS4 here, again, my data is here, you'll have it in the table. Again, I, I have this to two decimal places, so it might be off by one or so. When I go ahead and put my data in um, to my graph, I did the range from 10 to 18 for my percents and 106 to 111 for my dry density. Again, you might have a little bit different ranges there. When I plotted my first point, well, it's just about 12 and 106.6. And then I plotted my second one, about 14 and 109, a little bit over 109, 109.1. And then uh, 15.87 and 110. And then 17.79 um, and 107.6. So when I connect those lines, I pretty much have a high point there existing on my graph um, with that 15, could say 15.87, I took that up to 15.9 and 110. Um, that, that high point is just part of my graph and so that is gonna be my high point um, with my optimum moisture and my maximum density for BS4. Okay, for BS5, again, put our data in. Um, yeah, a little messy here, <laughs> but um, once we graph it down here, we've got um, our first data point 13.38 uh, and 106.6, so it should be right around here, 15.21 and 107.7, right in there. 13.37 and 108, I'm sorry, 17.37 and 108, and here, and then 19.62 and 105.4. And so when we connect that up, um, we do get this high point um, a little bit before that third one. Um, I called that at about 16.7% and 108.1 maximum density. But you know, as long as you're somewhere in that range, it's gonna go up a little bit before that second and third test connect with each other. That's where you're gonna find your um, optimum moisture and your maximum density. 
All right, let's go on to BS13. Um, in this one again, here's our data. We have um, our moisture content and our dry density. Again, that's straight from my table. So, you know, if you're getting lost on those calculations, you can find all that information in the table. Um, this uh, video is just gonna go over the graphing a little bit and what your shape should look like. So here I have 11.61% um, and 107.2 was my first point that I put on there. And then I put 13.3 uh, and 110.6 comes up here. And then I've got 16.28 and 111.5. So that's right in here. And then 17.92 and 108. So that drops down here. And when I connected those and, and used my curves, I got that, again, this line's going to go up between that second and third test to a high point here. Um, I called that high point uh, at 15.4% and a maximum density of 111.7. And like I said, if you're getting things that are a little bit different for your maximum density um, than what I have here, that's okay. You'll see in the answer key for this one that they actually call it at, um, go back here, 15.1% and 112.3. I'm not sure where that 112.3 comes up. Uh, my curve really didn't go up that high when I was connecting my points. But again, you know, we have a range of answers for these things. So if you're in that ballpark, you're looking pretty good for that curve. And then let's take a look at the last one um, for 15. Uh, again, I'm gonna plot these two together. So I've got my 10.62 and 112.7. It's gonna be right in here. 12.36 and 116.2 right up here. 14.55 and 116.5 right in here and 16.96 and 112.7 over here. So for me, when I connected up those points um, and found my optimum point up here, I got around 13.7% uh, and 116.8 uh, pounds per cubic foot. Again, answer key has like 117, I think here. So, you know, if you draw your curve a little bit more steep, you might get that. Again, this is, I'm looking for a range for answers for these, and I'm definitely looking for a graph that has a curve, not connecting points in a straight line. So those are the two important things for that. So those are what your, your curves should look like. I mean, you've got your answer key to see what your numbers are gonna look like. So that's 15, here's uh, 13 again. Okay, a little bit less than what's on the answer key, um, 12. That matches up pretty well. Mine matched up pretty well with the answer key. I think I got 108.1 here instead of 108.2. Four, yeah, I matched that one up pretty well. They had 15.5 here for the optimum moisture. I got a little bit higher, but again, you know, that line kind of gets flat up there. So, you know, again, within, within that plus or minus 0.5% is pretty acceptable. And then my uh, last one here, um, with 14.1 and 111.8, hit it right on. So um, try these out, see what you can get. Um, make sure that your numbers are correct. You can look at these um, answers and check them before you graph it, <laughs> just to make sure you're putting some good data in before you start to make your graphs. And then see if you can line up your um, optimum water content, and maximum dry density with the solutions or close to what I've got. All right, good luck.